What's going on guys? Welcome to the program. Welcome to Currency World. Let's start out with a couple questions. When's the last time you looked through your change? I know that for me personally, any change I receive ends up either somewhere under the seats in my car or in a coin jar at home. Well, today's video may have all of us rethinking the way we treat our spare change. In today's video, we will be counting down the 10 most valuable coins still in circulation. Before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and tell your friends about Currency World, where we discuss everything coins and currency. Okay guys, it's time to empty your pockets, whip out your coin jars, and follow along as we discover the 10 most valuable coins that could be lurking between your couch cushions. Who knows? You could discover that you're a millionaire by the end of this video. We're kicking off this list at number 10 with a relatively recent coin. Many of you may remember collecting state quarters, and maybe you even had a little map to display them in. Well, it's time to dig them up to see if you can find a 1999 Philadelphia Mint Connecticut Broadstruck Quarter. Wow, that was a mouthful. Broadstruck refers to the fact that these quarters were not properly lined up on the minting press, which resulted in the error you see right here. While finding one of these may not fund your next trip to Vegas, it will make you $25 richer, as these quarters are worth 100 times face value. Up next, at number 9, we have an even more recent state quarter, also compliments of the Philadelphia Mint. It is the 2005 Philadelphia Mint Kansas State Quarter bearing the inscription, In God We Rust. As far as I know, this particular inscription was not a religious statement by one of the Mint's disgruntled employees. It was in fact the result of grease buildup on the coin die, which worked to erase the T from the word trust. If you happen to find one of these quarters, you can expect to have an extra $100 of spending money. Next up on our list is the 1997 double year Lincoln Penny. Abraham Lincoln was undoubtedly a very peculiar looking man. Standing at 6 feet 4 inches tall, Lincoln was remarkably tall for his time, and he is actually tied with Lyndon Johnson as the tallest U.S. president of all time. However, something Lincoln is not known for is for having double earlobes. In 1997, the folks over at the Mint seemed to have forgotten this fact and bestowed our 16th president with double earlobes. The Mint's mistake is your gain. If you happen to find one of these, you will find yourself $250 richer. At number 7, we have the 1982 Roosevelt Dime with no mint mark. As many of you might know, U.S. coins contain a letter which denotes the city of the mint where they were struck. For example, S means San Francisco, P indicates Philadelphia, and D indicates Denver. In 1982, it seems like the Philadelphia Mint forgot about putting their mint mark on some of their Roosevelt dimes. While it is unclear exactly how many of these coins were released to the general public, 10,000 of these dimes were reportedly given out as change at Cedar Point Amusement Park in Sandusky, Ohio. If you happen to find one of these coins, you will likely be able to cover a day at an amusement park for you and a couple of friends, as they are worth as much as $300. Coming in at number 6, we have the 2005 Speared Bison Jefferson Nickel. This coin's moniker comes from what appears to be a spear going through the side of the bison, which can be observed on the back of this coin. This error was likely due to a deep scratch on the die at the time these coins were minted. Aside from being a very cool design flaw, 
A Denver Mint example of this nickel sold for an amazing $1,265 in 2010. At number five, we have another state quarter making an appearance on our list. It is the 2004 Wisconsin state quarter with an extra leaf. Wisconsin quarters themselves are by no means rare or valuable as over 453 million were minted in 2004. However, of these millions, a few thousand have an extra leaf on the husk of the corn depicted on the back of the quarter. It has been speculated that a mint worker deliberately changed the dyes that resulted in this unique design element. If you happen to live in Arizona, you should be particularly vigilant as 5,000 of these quarters have been discovered in Tucson. These quarters can be worth as much as $1,499 depending on condition, which goes to show that it pays to look through those quarters you have laying around the house. Up next at number four is the 1955 double die Lincoln Penny. Here it is guys, take a look. No, you are not seeing double. This penny is a result of an error in the minting process that resulted in this seemingly double stamped image. Somewhere between 20,000 and 24,000 of these pennies were released into circulation. If you are lucky enough to find one of these pennies, it could be worth as much as $3,000. Quite a pretty penny indeed. At number three, we have another rare Lincoln penny. It is the 1992 Close AM Penny. If you take a look at the back of this penny, we see what makes this penny extra special. It is the spacing between the A and the M in the United States of America inscription across the top. As you can see here when compared to a regular penny, the A and the M are closer than usual. There are very few examples of this particular error known to exist, and as a result, an example from the Philadelphia Mint was sold on eBay for a whopping $24,056.63. Wow guys, we're really starting to get into the big money now. The second most valuable coin you can find in your pocket change is the 1969 S Lincoln Penny with a double die adverse. This coin's claim to fame is that it was once featured on America's Most Wanted list by the FBI. When these coins were released, the US government believed them to be counterfeit and began confiscating them. It is believed that less than 100 of these pennies were ever produced. If you are lucky enough to stumble upon one of these, you're in for a real treat. One of these pennies was auctioned off in 2008 for an amazing $126,500. Not bad, right? All right, guys, we did it. We've reached number one. While you might not think there is anything particularly remarkable about a standard Lincoln copper penny, a 1943 copper penny is something that is just that. By 1943, the United States was over a year into World War II and the government was rationing copper for the war effort. As a result, the 1943 pennies were made out of steel and coated with zinc. However, a copper batch was accidentally created. Needless to say, the 1943 copper pennies are extremely rare and valuable. In fact, a 1943 copper penny struck at the Denver Mint set the record for the most expensive penny ever sold when it was auctioned off in 2010 for a whopping $1,700,000. It is believed that there are still a few floating around in circulation. If you are lucky enough to find one of these pennies, you will be at least $10,000 richer and perhaps even a millionaire. If you guys are interested in learning more about valuable pennies in particular, make sure to check out the video linked above where I count down the 15 most valuable pennies of all time. So there you have it guys. Who knew that your pocket change could potentially fund your retirement? It just goes to show that it's not just Bitcoins that can buy Lamborghinis. Before you start tearing apart your house looking for lost change, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more great videos like this one. Also, 
Be sure to let me know about what great coins you guys have been finding in the comment section down below. All right, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.